Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, Toyota Yaris. This is a 2016 model and uh, I'm going to be changing the battery in this car. Um, so I think that's the original battery in this car. Um, and it's, well, we're changing it because it's uh, it was giving a little bit of issues. Um, so, and the car has just been <coughs> sold, so it's going out. But if it goes out with a new battery, then an old one. Um, so for this particular car, um, or to remove this uh, battery, we have this clamp here, which we're going to take out. We need a 10 mil socket, preferably a, a deep socket like this one, and also for the terminals here. So just one thing before we start removing anything, if you have a different kind of stereo, or a stereo that requires a key or a, a code. Um, just make sure you have that code or that key or the, or the number um, in case once you disconnect the battery um, and you put the new one in, then you find yourself that the radio doesn't work <laughs> and it's asking you for a code and you don't have the code and then it will cost you money. So just make sure you have whatever relevant codes there are and um, when i finish this um i'm gonna see <laughs> if mine works okay because i don't think this particular the one the radio i have in this car i don't think it needs a code but we'll see we'll see that what happens um so with my 10 mil here i should really use a smaller one in for this uh terminal here but uh the one i have at the moment so I'm just undoing the negative side here first and I'm just undoing the negative because if I touch with my ratchet by mistake, if I was to touch the negative here and a metal part of the car, um, I wouldn't short, it wouldn't cause a short. Um, however, if you started doing the positive and you accidentally touch a negative part of the body, that will cause a short. So. We start with the negative, disconnect it, and put it to one side. Uh, we also want to take this, I already loosened this uh, 10 mil here, so I can take this uh, little clamp out. If you undo, um, we really need to loosen a little bit both sides take that one out all the way Okay, now we can loosen our positive side here. Yeah. Just make sure this side is not touching there or reconnected itself by mistake. It happens. If it is a little stuck, just get something underneath, like a screwdriver or something, just to detach it. And there we are. This battery can come out.
try to put it the right, right way around. <laughs> and just remember these batteries are, even though this is a small one, they're always a bit heavy, so just uh, be careful with your back. Uh, so that's a 45 amp battery amp per hour, same as the, the one that came out. Now we can close that terminal. should fit there without any issues and it's uh, really really cold today it's like zero degrees out there um, we had snow yesterday or the day before actually here in London so it is cold Need to tighten this too much. Just make sure it's uh, securing the battery there, and then we can connect our negative. That's pretty much it as far as changing the battery okay so now i'm gonna get the car started and uh, we are going to check what the radio is doing and also <coughs> may have to reset the clocks in the car so let's get this going okay car starts no issues battery is nice and powerful uh, that is loading so like I said uh, whether you whether everything gets deleted on this system or not I'm not sure um, because we are selling the car anyway um, I don't mind if whatever was there settings Bluetooth anything was there is gets deleted however you may not want those things to get deleted so just make sure you have a backup if uh, if things get deleted All right, let's have a look where's the music at least I want to know if the radio okay so seems to be working just uh, all the radio all the stations got um, got reset obviously but we can uh, Select them manually and reprogram them. You're listening to magic. So that will get reset and again probably the time. I'm not even sure where the time is showing in this car, to be honest. Uh this is set up. vehicle but uh, that's what really what you're gonna need to do you're just gonna need to reset things and in this case scenario the radio is working and all the things are working so I'm actually happy with that I will now look into how to reset the, the time even if that is gone off I'm not sure but, uh, Okay, so there's, there's my time, it's saying 2.04. Um, 
it's 1637 at the moment so we have these two buttons here which we can adjust it to all right so we only have that kind of 1637 it's four it's 437 And that's it um, so that's adjusted all this working you have to reset your stations and whether anything else got deleted I don't know it could be Bluetooth we have Bluetooth we have other things that you might need to reset repair or whatever so having said that I hope the video helps don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video